What's up guys, welcome back to Tackling the World. We're in Australia. We're doing 24 hours of Eden in Sydney. We were gonna have like a 10 hour layover, but I just figured we might as well do a day and a half so we can actually go into the city and eat a bunch of food. It's kind of what we always do, if you've seen in our other videos. And right now we are walking over to get some Thai breakfast. It's gonna be some good stuff. Yeah, apparently Sydney has a ton of Asians. A lot of Asian food and a lot of Asian people in general. Fit right in. Boon Cafe. We actually stopped here last time on our way to Tasmania, but we didn't film anything. Um, we loved it so much, we knew we had to come back and bring you guys along. We're both huge fans for Thai food for breakfast, so it's really awesome that this place opens up at 8 a.m. I think in general, we're not really big on like Western style breakfast, but pretty much any other kind of breakfast we are pretty big on. It's heavy, right? You, yeah, because I get the biscuits and gravy. I don't see the point of buying like eggs and Sausage. Eggs and toast and sausage. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's, like it's definitely, yeah. Thai breakfast is the bomb. There's a place that we go to in uh, Hollywood too. Every time we're like around LA, there's a Hollywood one that we go to, the Thai breakfast one. Yeah. And that one's so good too. The cow yeah, they do have cow so That one's so good too. So, um, in this one, yeah, like Jocelyn said, we came here already. It's also at the same time a little um, Asian market. It looks, I didn't take a look last time, but we'll take a look after we eat and see what they got. Yeah, I mean, we can take some snacks because we're going to hiking a lot. Yeah. I'm, looking, I'm looking forward to today. It's going to be, uh, we're going to be full. And last night we actually stopped to get Korean barbecue when we landed because we were starving and also we haven't had Korean food in a long time. The kimchi was super good. I'm pretty picky about my kimchi. I usually get my kimchi paste from a friend's mom. Also, their short rib was really good. Short rib and the cold noodles, I think, were my two favorite dishes that I recommend. And it's conveniently located near our hotel. So that's always a bonus. Got our drinks. I got a matcha latte. Taku got a Thai tea. I need a little dose of caffeine because I've been drinking too much coffee. So now that I didn't drink coffee, I'm getting those withdrawal feelings. Ooh. Yum. It smells so good. So like peanutty. Forgive my pronunciation, but I think it's called Sukho noodle soup. Let's try the broth. Mm. So good, it's like so light, but so flavorful. It's one of the reasons I love Thai food. Mm. So much yum. It's not spicy at all. I think um, I did ask for it medium spicy, but it's got like um, lightly sweet, like most Thai food, and a little sour. And it reminds me so much of some street food that we had when we were in Bangkok. So it makes me very happy. A little fish sauce, a little sweetness. Not exactly sour, but probably has some kind of citrus or something. <laughs> yeah, this looks freaking good. Like this for breakfast is so good. Mm. Mm. Yeah, it definitely has like a little, um, it's got the sweetness, it's got the savory, the fish sauce, the very um, strong flavors of it, and a little bit of that lightly sour flavor mm, that Thai food is just known for and uh, yeah you're right it's not spicy at all should if it had a little, couple chilies in there it'd be perfection look what just arrived it's our pork belly and there's an egg so it makes it breakfast you know and uh, I asked for some chili make things a little more spicy mm. Crispy. 
spicy, fish saucy. I feel like pork belly in Thailand kind of ruined me for all other pork bellies. Because now I only like it the Thai style way. And it has to be as good as it was in Thailand. <laughs> and this one is? It's pretty good, yeah. <laughs> Thai crispy pork belly with basil. Mm. I gotta get some rice in there. Rice for breakfast. I do it every day. I can do it every day. It's easy. I, I think it's just, uh, you know, I want to tell you guys something. Um, sometimes Jocelyn doesn't let me eat rice because she doesn't want to eat that much rice. <laughs> I don't prevent you from she, she rice. She rice blocks me because she doesn't want the rice. And then so I feel like I have to not make rice. <laughs> okay, here we go. This Thai crispy pork belly has a nice crunch to it and it also has this stickiness that I love. Like it kind of sticks to your teeth a little bit but in like a good way where you savor the pork belly and it's a little spicy and it's extremely savory. It's got like some kind of like soy sauce based sauce on there and it's real sticky and the basil you know kind of gives it that little kick of herb. Um, that it needs a little freshness in there and it's still delicious mm. yeah look at that crispy skin that is perfect that's what kind of gives it that crisp and then underneath it is that layer of fat that's kind of sticky that was so good that was delicious and there's so much stuff around here that i want to eat but we only have 24 hours so i don't know how to get all of it in there <laughs> especially there's a few dessert spots i kind of want to try that creme brulee crepe because I already know creme brulee crepes are really good. There was a spot in Hollywood we used to go to. And I wonder if this one will be as good. There's also like other desserts to try. Now we have to wait till we're hungry and go to our next spot. Jocelyn's gonna go do a little shopping. So I'm gonna head back to the hotel uh, on this bus. I, I'm ho hoping the bus goes that way. I don't have um, any data. We just don't, I just ran out of data uh, for Australia because we're just on a little, eSIM. Um, just, we just use an app while we're traveling and pay for like a week long or you know like three gigs of data and I just ran out yesterday and um, so I don't know how many data but I just got hopped on this bus hoping uh, it's going the way I want it to. <laughs> okay uh, so I've definitely gotten on the wrong bus because I was like right here and I just needed to go that way and but now I'm all the way up here going across the bridge, I think. All right, now let's find our way back. Here we are now at this banh mi spot. Jocelyn says this is the best banh mi in Sydney uh, with her research. So I went pork skin, which I never ordered that, but figured why not? Looks nice. Ooh. <laughs> Man, the line got so long right after we ordered. Came at the perfect time. Yeah. yeah, the line is right over there, and it's 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 going back so far. That was a bite of bread, and it was really good. <laughs> mm. They had a salad one. And I was really tempted to get that because I love all the pickled stuff in a banh mi and I always want more pickled stuff. It's really good. Worth it. It has like um, I guess the pate is really good. It's like all the little shreds, huh? Mm -hmm. It's like shredded pork skin, I guess? Yeah, this bread Looks is like so noodles. Good. It's crunchy how you want it. Mmm. Mmm, oh. Yeah, it is pretty nice. I like the texture of that. Yeah. Pork skin stuff. It's kind of like little crunchy noodles. <laughs> Word on the street, there's some good breweries in Sydney. So we're gonna go check one out right now. And I haven't told Jocelyn about our little side quest. So we'll tell her over there. <laughs> when you can't decide which one, <laughs> I got a flight. 
And of course, this dollar bomb means that we need to eat with some nice cold beer. Cheers. That's nice. Sandwich time. Time to try yours. All right, so I just got the pork roll. I think that's more of like the classic, uh, classic on me. So, get into it. When I was in Vietnam, I tried to order a banh mi from a banh mi cart. And I told the lady, oh, I'll take, you know, banh mi. I, didn't, I don't know, I don't speak Vietnamese, by the way. But it said banh mi, and she gave me just the bread. She literally just <laughs> put a bread in a bag and gave it to me because banh mi actually just means bread in Vietnamese. <laughs> I was like, no, I want, I want the stuff inside of it. <laughs> oh, good times, eh? Good beer. But this is a this is an IPA, but it's a dark one, yeah. And you can taste that it. it is different. It has like an IPA finish, but more of like a, a stouty kind of front. And it's the pate, the pate that they smear on this. It's so good. It's a very addicting. Yeah, and these bummies were like nine dollars, huh? Nine Australian dollars, yeah. which is what like six or seven US. Good deal. Good deal. They were, yeah, the ones we got were not, yeah. And now let's see if Jocelyn can drink all of this beer. All right, guys, she's done it. She's got one beer left. <laughs> Go. Chug, chug, peer pressure. Chug, chug, chug. She didn't chug it. She never listens to me. Chug a beer. <laughs> there you go. There it is. What we do when we're in a city is we eat, we work, we eat, we work. Um, because we're just not really huge city people. This is the bathroom, which is really weird to me. It's like the second style we've had where it's like, like frosted. But you can still see the outline and you can hear everything. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, we've lived in a van together, so it's all right. But I feel like most people, I don't know, I feel like most people would find this kind of weird. But anyways, we're having a little snack with our tea and we stopped by at a pastry shop that we just happened to be walking past. And the pastries just look so cute that we had to grab a couple. This pastry is pretty good, tastes like persimmon and it's not super sweet. And we got a couple other flavors as well. We got one lotus, one taro, and one black sesame. So we're just gonna snack on that and hopefully we'll be hungry for dinner. It's a little later in the night than we originally planned, so our two restaurant choices, which were going to be pho or ramen, were going to be closed. We decided to go with an izakaya spot, so right now we're in a place called Yibisu. Like in Japan, they got a little touchscreen menu, and you know, there's like uh, sushi, there is ooh, yakitori, yum, mm, chicken thigh, wagyu beef. All right, we already got some of our dishes and check out these chopsticks. These are the best disposable chopsticks I've ever been given. But we got a couple sides, we got some edamame and some kimchi because we need a little veg in our life. And taco wasa, which is octopus and wasabi. It is raw, which is yum. Thank you. All right, I guess I'll try the taco wasa first. I want a little more wasabi in it though. I like when it burns. Cheers! Cheers, guys. It is small. Look at what just came. Some beautiful curry udon. Oh, I love it. I love it. That looks delicious. I got some salmon belly nigiri. Just put a little bit of soy sauce. Mm. Melts like butter. Ooh. Beef tongue. And I got cuttlefish. I love any kind of squid. The sushi rice is very good. Very, very good. The cuttlefish is super good. It's, it's, it has a snap to it. It kind of like bites through real easily, but it's very creamy. All right, we'll get some beef tongue skewers. Beef tongue is also one of my favorite. I don't know what 
is not one of my favorite. Mmm. Mmm. That's just nice and buttery. And the texture of beef tongue is so good. It's kind of chewy. Uh, it's kind of firm. And it's got a bite to it. But once you get through it, it's... Man, it's so... It's so good. Time to dig in to this beautiful looking curry with a oh, thick noodle pool. Look at that. Yeah. Udon is so thick and delicious. Very hot still. Oh, and Japanese curry is comfort food for me. It's so good, man. It's delicious. All right, guys, well, we are about done here. Uh, was a delicious day. This whole 24 hours has been delicious. Uh, what did we learn from this episode of being in Sydney? Um, that Sydney is like going to all of Asia at once. <laughs> in 24 hours we've had Korean barbecue, we've had Thai breakfast, we've had Vietnamese bami, me, um, Chinese pastries, and this Japanese izakaya meal. Amazing and delicious. Thank you all for watching. We really appreciate you being here and spending the time with us. Cheers, guys. We'll see you on the next one.